uh, uh, but some uh, uh, professional university like uh, CMU, uh, we are medical professional university. Uh, yeah, so we uh, uh, our students are, made, uh, are mainly uh, medical professionals. And uh, we have some uh, university that is technical university, uh, so which will focus on the technical training on their students. And uh, some are comprehensive university. Um, yeah, so uh, they will have a general knowledge course and they have a lot of knowledge course and they prepare for their uh, master degree or doctorate degree. Uh, so uh, today uh, we have uh, six uh, different university uh, in Taiwan. Uh, we will share uh, how we do the MOOCs and how we are uh, uh, facing the uh, pandemic, although uh, we didn't actually shut down and uh, lock down all the, uh, the old whole island. But yeah, we have our normal life, but we, we still got some influence on uh, this pandemic. So we have some uh, uh, some uh, doing so uh, we'll, they will show uh, their uh, experience during this time. So uh, first, uh, I will uh, make the, the Zhili University uh, to uh, share uh, their experience. So uh, I will uh, make the. Located in the metropolitan area of northern Taiwan, which is Essence location. And Chile is a vocational and technical university in Taiwan with full enrollment, even there is the low birth rate in Taiwan. As the campus is located in the core district of New Taipei City, we have over 11,000 students in full time undergraduate division and Department of Continuing Education in the limited space. All the time, we make effective use of online internal and external resources to comprehensively promote e-learning. But the speed become faster due to facing the COVID-19. So we must provide the immediate learning resources and course model that could be suitable for any emergency and during the epidemic. Therefore, we set up two blended course types of distance courses and MOOCs to satisfy the demand of students of different educational systems. In addition to promote our systems in university, we also promote our e-learning energy and experiences by tutorship, lecture or industry education cooperation cases to spread our professionals. At first, let's see how are the distance courses of our university promoted. The Ministry of Education in Taiwan specifies that the implementation of distance courses in colleges and universities refers to the teaching method of asynchronously, synchronously, or physically providing courses by mixed instructional design with over half of the total hours of regular credit courses in single course. We already have asynchronously LMS, synchronous system Google Meet and physical campus to implement distant courses for, for many years. And we have set up the distant course application process based on the Ministry of Education policy. Through the three levels review, after approved, teachers could offer the distance course. From the table, you can see that the number of students taking the distance courses in our university from 2016 to 2020 has been over 8,000. The students participate in the asynchronous courses by Chile LMS and the synchronous online courses via Google Meet so that they acquire rich online learning experiences. But this year, facing the epidemic, in addition to the existing distance courses, we start up the e-learning and teaching project for COVID-19 prevention. If the outbreak is notified, all courses don't need to follow the application process to apply. Each course should provide online course, no matter synchronous or asynchronous activity immediately. And we work with external experts, also friends to create the guide for distance courses, learning and teaching website, and then provide it to our teachers and students so that they can self learn online. Further, we open the website for public so that all universities in Taiwan could use the resources. The epidemic came suddenly. Teachers also need to prepare and redesign their courses. In order to improve all teachers, not only just who offer distance courses, preparation and readiness. We design and provide systematic training courses for teachers, regardless of online teaching experience. 
What you see on the screen is the status of our training courses for teacher. And we also provide e-teaching for dummies to teachers to reduce their anxiety. In response to the epidemic, this year we handled 12 workshops for teachers, 511 people trained. In addition, we also trained 32 e-learning seed teachers to help guide teachers whose skill is insufficient and provide more counseling channel. Next, let's move to massive open online courses. We support MOOCs. From 2018 to the present, we increase the deductible credits year by year, as shown on the screen. On the campus, MOOCs are open to all the students, and the students who take the class are shown in the figure. Up to now, we have opened over 20 MOOCs, and every course provides rich contents which last for eight to nine weeks with online learning activities. The number of students taking the class have been accumulated to over 20,000. Why we could do this smoothly? That's because we have the systematic six phases to promote MOOCs including course plan and design, courseware development, course launch, promotion, facilitation, operation and evaluation. Take a course as an example. First, we convene a kickoff meeting before the course development to determine the course need of e-learning courseware jointly by the initiator of the course, the teacher, and the e-learning development team. Next, we enter the stage of course planning and designing. Design the learning objectives and the course structure. As shown in the picture, instructional designer will discuss with teacher or subject matter expert to design the activities include online discussion, quiz, and assessment, etc. After confirming the course structure, we find out the contents requiring courseware development. Before the development of courseware, we review whether the contents infringe upon any intellectual property according to the review mechanism. The intellectual property right mechanism is shown in the figure. After confirming the course structure and the contents of courseware, we design the courseware scripts with the teacher or subject matter expert. Just as the screenshot shown. After the scripts are finished, the team refers to the content characteristics of the courseware to record video or audio by multiple approaches. As shown in the picture. Next, we enter the stage of post-production. According to the diversified pattern of courseware, we use different software to present the contents in a richer way and conform to the learning demand. During the development process of courseware and after the courseware is produced, we use our review mechanism through internal and external experts and users review and continuous revision to ensure the quality of the courseware. Next, let's see how do we apply MOOCs in a diversified way. In order to ensure that the students know well about relevant information of MOOCs, we turn to physical and online promotional methods as well as the mechanism of online services, particularly in order to guide the learners to successfully study and finish the course. We apply professionally facilitating skills to offer the learners with rich learning experiences. The questionnaire and evaluation results of every course is the basis for us to discuss and improve the courses continuously. We apply MOOCs on the campus and launch them to the worldwide platform of Udemy for overseas learners. Besides, we also offer MOOCs on the platforms with different properties, such as OpenEDU, Taiwan Life, Golf Alliance, and EN Public Affairs Park. It's because that we have professional MOOCs mechanism of credit acceptance. As you can see on the screen, the flow chart of the MOOCs mechanism have effectively improved the efficiency of our university's MOOCs promotion. Meanwhile, by the ways of tutorship and lecture, we transfer the typical experiences to internal and external institutions. For example, we assist Taiwan companies, such as Industrial Technology Research Institute, ITRI, Ooptronics Corporation and Inventac, community universities and junior colleges to establish e-learning teams, develop online courses and to cultivate e-learning lecturers. In addition, this year we have also made a major breakthrough, that is, for freshmen, we use live broadcast with asynchronous assessment activities to handle freshman prerequisite courses to improve students' online learning readiness. What you see on the screen is that our principal is opening the live broadcast course, and we broadcast live teaching to 1,489 freshmen. And we have also imported international e-learning trends, established producer mechanism not only e-learning instructional design, media production, e-facilitating. We cultivate new team functions.
functions, planning, and execution at the level required by the enterprise. We also give MOOCs to high school senior so that they can learn in the summer vacation before going to university, achieve the completion criteria to obtain a certificate of completion, and apply for credits after enrollment. This year, there are 1,023 high school senior students who have completed the course, 286 learners have completed the course, the completion rate is 28%. I am glad to have this opportunity to share our experience with you. Thank you for your listening, and welcome contact us. Okay. Uh, the next uh, presenter is from uh, TV University. Can you see see here? Yes. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jay Wan Liu. I'm currently the director of the Center for Faculty Development and Instructional Resources. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, the current status of the online courses in Sunji University. The title of the talk is uh, Global Education is Changing and E-Learning is also under innovation. Okay, as you may know, or you may not know, our Sunji University was established by a foundation called Sunji Foundation, and which is considered uh, one of the biggest charity foundations in the world. Because of that, we our education is uh, emphasizing uh, on uh, humanity uh, and also the benefit of the society. Okay, and we want our students to have kind of a service spirit and and will be become a great citizen in the world. As we all know that uh, we are under threat of the pandemic. COVID-19, okay, dates back to the January when the pandemic is, was just started and, and we were on a holiday, actually, when winter holiday. So the, our government uh, did a very quick uh, decision to postpone the semester uh, the start of semester for two weeks. And the student hasn't come back yet. And for dealing with the pandemic, our city university has done a very quick and effective job. We initiate a project meeting very quickly because this, this project meeting is assembled by, by myself and the, the leader of the Department of uh, Digitalized Learning and Teaching and also the, the director of the curriculum of the university. As I, I was a, a director of the curriculum, curriculum of the university and also the head of the department of digital learning is also was also uh, the curriculum director as well so we we communicate with in a very effective ways and we focus on three aspects one is for the teacher one is for the student and one is for uh, administrative staff okay for teachers we emphasize the training support and we in, integrate some uh, te new technology into their, their teaching and we give, we give them training courses. That's for students. And the city university uh, recognize a form of credit for online courses. Then for other, other administrative staff, okay, we support them resources. And we also train them to be kind of a with the uh, digital ability and we optimize the administrative edu uh, execution and also the student can learn uh, after they graduate from the university and the teacher can learn after uh, they uh, <coughs> receive this kind of training then then they can con connect the international 
know, e-learning network if they have obtained this kind of ability. And for e-course blueprint, blueprint in Suji University, and we have four major series of courses. And one is a sustainable development kind of courses, and we have uh, several courses and, and, and entitled uh, sustainable self life and environment, also energy issues and, and international aid, some kind of, that kind of courses, the social economy issues and food and globalization issues. And we have a serious course for this. And for a scientific education, okay, we not only emphasize on kind of uh, liberal art education and also general education, we also have kind of professional education courses. For example, we have five chemistry courses uh, that include uh, physiology, nutrition science, and nitrogen metabolism, and also molecular biology. These kind of uh, very, very specific professional courses. And then we also have a kind of application <coughs> kind of a course, medical application things. Uh, we have a uh, course of course, School of uh, Health Data, Interpretation of Clinical Laboratory Data, Blood Transfusion Medicine, Heart Disease, Kidney Disease, Emergency Medicine, kind of, these kind of courses. And as I mentioned before, we, <coughs> we are a university with humanity in mind. So we have uh, human service courses. For, for example, we have positive, positive thinking, psychology, and positive mental strength, also, also hum, humanism, or uh, social service, uh, volunteer, volunteer, volunteer work service kind of courses. And then we also provide courses for improving uh, students or or personnel's uh, helping skills, and as we, as I mentioned before, we have a, a department for doing this, and we have staff in this department for doing this, and we provide this systematic support, and we reward the staff, and we reward the teacher take part in uh, online learning. We provide training and resources for the courses. Then we have done a great job and we have received quite a lot of uh, certification and uh, awards. For example, we received the award from the uh, Ministry of Education and we also have kind of, uh, kind of a rec recognition in other uh, organizations which uh, is the uh, Give the certify the courses, online courses, of course. Then we uh, collab collaborate with corporation uh, to do their uh, training courses. Of course, we uh, we will receive certificate fees, and we will have kind of a profit sharing kind of a mechanism to share the profit uh, with the university, the department, and the project manager. And we also remodel our studio over over the years, and we are now focusing on a MOOC, the massive open online courses development and the implementation. And we build up learning foundation using e-learning courses, and we we provide the courses to high school students, and they can get the credit when they get into the university. Then. They can use their credit for their university degree, and we also uh, promote self uh, study. Okay, MOOC credit for you university students. The students can can take MOOC course of the university or the, or other university, and we recognize their credit. So they they can uh, they can use this credit for their graduation, and we also uh, emphasize our uh, effort on globalization issue and social influence. Okay, we incorporate SDG and we also uh, provide, which is a very unique, provide uh, e education assistance program for refugees 
as you can see from the, uh, the corner of this slide, our students using online, uh, online long distance tour to uh, assist the, the refugees in Turkey. Uh, they, they are uh, Syrian refugees now in Turkey and we give them online uh, learning exchange kind of opportunity. And we uh, cooperate with overseas uh, Suchi Education Center to do this job, and we provide a monthly course for them. And they are very happy about that. And then we also provide opportunities, uh, if possible, for enrolling in Suchi University. Basically, this is the end of my talk. Um, I would like to give you, uh, finish my talk with some work. That is, uh, let's keep up with e-learning and create new connection with the world. That's our purpose, and maybe it's also your purpose as well. Thank you very much indeed for your listening. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you uh, from, from uh, about Chiji University. And uh, our next panel is from Ivan University. Uh, You okay. Yeah, you may. You may. Everyone. Yeah. True. Ah, Daniel, true. Okay. I'm uh, from National Yunnan University. I'm the Center for Digital Learning uh, Division Director. Now, I want to share the experience and what we do during the pandemic. Uh, we have all heard about the Zhili and the Chiji University. How are they doing? I think we will feel very impressive that they're doing so much. Uh, uh, in my experience, first of all, is that uh, during this period, the student and the teacher they all worry about how to distance teaching and the distance learning. So the first thing is what we do is uh, we share the experience in e-learning to all the teacher and the students and make them feel safe, feel uh, convenient in teaching and the learning. First, we use the LMS uh, to do the asynchronous online learning. Uh, we have so many material, for example, video and the examination, or some documents on the LMS, LMS uh, in NIU. So we just let the teacher know that, that they can use LMS to do the distance learning, not only uh, share the document to students, but also they can teach on the LMS. Sec, we try to share the experience uh, to use web and video conferencing software, such as uh, Zoom and uh, WebEx or Adobe Connect. Or, for example, the NIU use the Teams to teach and to uh, use the software to record in the video and to share with the students that they cannot come to Taiwan. So we not only the training course, but also for a teacher, we share how to teach online because maybe some teacher, they never use such software to teach online. So we share the experience and we teach them step by step to do how can they use the software, for example, Run or Teams to teach. 
how to react the course, how to interact with the student, and how to examination using such software. And I think most uh, the most important policy we do is use the teams for teaching. We raised the office uh, 365 account for all the students and teachers in our university, National Yilan University. I think this made more convenient for teachers to have online courses because well, when they open the meeting online, the students are all there. So they can very easy, just one step to have their course on online. So if the student cannot come to the classroom, they can also learn it by online system. And uh, here today uh, in our school, there are also many teachers and students, they use Teams to teaching and learning. Uh, please forget about the last sentence. Huh? That's the Ministry of Education. Oh, do not like Zoom, but today we use Zoom. Okay. This is what we get. This uh, data from the teams. We can see that uh, course meeting, we grow up very rapidly uh, during the uh, March and uh, get higher. Uh, we can see that in the April, the meeting is so much. Uh, what's this about? Because I will mention later that in our school, we have a rehearsal, uh, how to distance learning uh, all the school. Uh, we prepare for the pandemic, it's very awful that teacher and student cannot come to campus. So we practice in the campus that if the student uh, have to stay at home, how can they learn it? So we practice in the classroom in the first week. That's the March 22 to 28. And then we practice all the campus that student can uh, stay at home and not go to the school at the April, April uh, 12 to April 18. And we can see that the practice is very successful. So all the teachers and all the students all have practice about distance learning by our teams. And uh, we also encourage the usage of OER and MOOCs. Uh, we just as the Jiri and the Chiji, we have so many MOOCs. So we encourage the teacher that they can use their MOOCs or they can use other teachers' MOOCs or other schools' MOOCs. We just use the video or the video of OCW. And we can see that this is the data that we can see that uh, 2019 and 2020, we can see uh, it's the growth up of the OER that we can see. This is a uh, month, uh, six months statistic. We can see that uh, there are so many new users during the, this, uh, during this period. There's so many teachers and there's so many students, they use OCW to learn and to teach. So that's uh, the experience and we share uh, to you that what we do in National University. Uh, so thank you everyone, thank you. Thank you, Professor Zhu. Uh, our next panelist is from Zanye University. Yeah, they are you. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, let's uh, let's welcome the 
Professor James from uh, Dye University. Yeah, I so wait, wait a moment. Yeah, so, 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 so they are uh, preparing their slides. Yeah, I, I would say that there's uh, one question from the audience. Uh, uh, mentioned that uh, what kind of models we are using for uh, a course design or system design. So, uh, if uh, anyone, uh, any panelists say that online, please check on the question and think of uh, your answers, and uh, we will discuss that later. So, um, are you uh, here? Is the slides? Okay. Okay. Hello, welcome to join the impacts of the MOOCs in higher education during the pandemic. A Taiwan experience session. I am Meng Yu Cheng, working for Center of Teaching and Learning that is in Daye University, and then I will talk about our case. Daye University's school badge symbolizes a thriving tree and green is used to enhance the image of the tree. But first, let's see how are the distance courses of our university promoted. The Ministry of Education in Taiwan specifies that the implementation of distance courses in colleges and universities refers to the teaching method of asynchronously, synchronously, or physically providing courses by mixed instructional design with over half of the total hours of regular credit courses in single course. We already have asynchronously LMS, synchronous system, Google Meet, and physical campus to implement distant courses for many years. And we have set up a distant course application process based on the Ministry of Education policy through the three levels review. After approved, teachers could offer the distance course. But this year, facing the epidemic, in addition to the existing distance courses, we start up the e-learning and teaching project for COVID-19 prevention. If the outbreak is notified, all courses don't need to follow the application process to apply. Each course should provide an online course, no matter synchronous or asynchronous activity immediately. What you see on the screen is the status of our training courses for teacher. And we also provide e teaching for dummies to teachers to reduce their anxiety. Next, let's move to massive open online courses. Courses can be divided into four categories, business cultures, language, and low. The business course focus on accounting and costing. The cultures course focus on tiras and culture. The language course focus on Japanese and Chinese. The law course focus on art rooted in tele property rights. This is the statistics of the number of participants. There are six courses with more than 500 students. The courses are open ended, dominated by the general public and not limited to learning. I am glad to have this opportunity to share our experience with you. Thank you for your listening and welcome to contact us. Okay. Uh... Thank you uh, from the uh, University. Our next uh, panelist is from the UK, uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Ding. Yeah, you, uh, you can share your slides. Right. Uh, can I change the slides? Yeah, I, I mentioned that. Uh, well, uh, we have uh, several panelists that uh, are unable to uh, uh, participate uh, uh, online, so they give us the videos. So, <laughs> yeah, and but they will they will watch the video uh, afterwards and discuss this uh, in the connect. All right, you may begin. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to join Taiwan Station. Uh, I'm Ho Yi. Please welcome to call me Manon. 
I'm working at the National University of Kaohsiung Center for Teaching and Learning Development. In the following six minutes, I would like to start by a brief uh, introduction to how we work on e-learning at NUK, and then I will move to what we did during the pandemic. Finally, I will talk a bit about our next steps. So let's start. The National University of Kaohsiung is located south of Taiwan in accordance with the government industry development policy. We are expected to assist to upgrade and transform traditional industries and train professionals in technology and management. So NUK is a very young university that was established in 2000, only 20 years. We have five de uh, de departments in total and 227 fac faculties and up to uh, 3,300 uh, 3, students in total. So as you can see, NUK is also a quite small university. So the uh, e-learning app at NUK contains the three main strategies, including most digital teaching material and distance courses. However, it is interesting that we started our e-learning by MOOC since 2013. Not like other universities, since more folks on distance courses on the campus. <clears throat> so the NUK MOOCs started actually only from uh, 2013. Until this year, we already have had 31 courses in total, in which uh, 21 uh, language courses, including Thai language, uh, uh, Venom language, Indonesia language, and Japanese language, and six history related courses, three environmental sustainability courses, and one on design. So we do also have 17 uh, active courses uh, since 2013, up to uh, 20. Sauron on campus and off campus learners took our courses. And the average uh, complete, uh, completed rate is 10%. Besides MOOC, we also encourage our faculties to make a digital teaching material. Until, until this year, 12 teachers apply the digital material on the uh, physical courses which is about uh, 23 courses. But interesting, only a few teachers uh, work on di distance courses, which is only two teachers and four courses in the, by these years. Okay. So to sum up, the applications of e-learning at NUK is more Actually, it's more focused on the way of branded learning and apply this whole material in a a great uh, a fully a great classroom. So even the like application of work at the campus, rather uh, relevant traditional distance teaching and learning as other universities do. But this year, therefore, facing the epidemic. <clears throat> Therefore, this year, facing the pan pandemic, we actually moved to a uh, synchronous yeah. teaching and learning mm -hmm. quite seamlessly. In particular, for those teachers mm -hmm. have already had the digital material. So for those teachers, who has no uh, digital materials will also arrange a series of training activities to help men uh, and students in deal with the synchronous, synchronous and asynchronous mm -hmm. teaching and learning. Okay. So it is interesting to find out that the distance course has increased uh, rapidly since the pandemic, which is we never expect before. 
<coughs> so then you found the experience of an pandemic. For our next step of e-learning at UK, we will actually rearrange our e-learning uh, blueprint and strategy now. The main purpose is surely to establish a system to encourage our faculty's warning of e-learning. And also we are looking for more uh, possibilities in applications of MOOCs. Uh, there are always a lot of things to do, so let's move on together. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Saladin. All right, uh, yeah, we have uh, nine minutes left, so I have to, uh, yeah. th th this one, that's me. <laughs> I, I, I will talk about a little bit about TMU uh, during the uh, pandemic. Okay, uh, but actually, uh, before uh, pandemic, we already got the strategy of uh, doing the MOOC or, or the uh, digital learning apart. We, we, uh, the TMU joined uh, Oscar Lucy, uh, which is the previous uh, version of the OED uh, in uh, ten, uh, 2007. And then we uh, joined the COCWC uh, in 2008. And then uh, when the MOOCs come up, uh, uh, we uh, joined the Futon in uh, 2014. Okay, and right now uh, we we are producing the MOOCs, uh, and we also have a digital initiative which uh, uh, which allow our, uh, the TMU students can take the MOOCs and uh, uh, become their credits. And also because some MOOCs need uh, money to buy the certificate, so we uh, we provide the, uh, the digital initiative fund for them, so they can uh, pay for their uh, certificate. It's like a, a reinvestment. And also uh, TME work is not only on, uh, on digital and we also on the local uh, MOOC platforms such as uh, EWANT, ShareCourse, or Open, Open EDU. All right, and during the pandemic, we find out several questions about these things, uh, such as we will, have, uh, we will need to probably need to do a lot of mixed content. And also uh, some uh, issues on how to uh, deal with the edge accounts educate or uh, we can benefit from that and also for the, for the teachers uh, they have to do the e-teaching and for our students they have to do the e-learning and uh, also uh, uh, probably a, a bigger problem is this uh, uh, the national localization part because uh, all the international travel is banned so uh, we have to do here like we do right now do the virtual things yeah and uh, also uh, and we find out our teachers have got the most problems like this. And uh, you probably don't uh, recognize the uh, the Mandarin character, uh, the Chinese characters. These are all mentioned about the videos and uh, how to do uh, synchronized uh, uh, learning and how to produce your videos. Anyway, so you know their problem is probably uh, the massive content uh, how to create it. So we provide the uh, our, so our books. A uh, production team will come in and help uh, our teacher to do that. However, a team is not enough. We have to train them to do it by themselves. So uh, we will have a, a lot of uh, support for them uh, so they can do the e-teaching. Uh, we, we put we put on the website and uh, they then know uh, how to make it uh, quickly and easily. And uh, if they have more needs, they can come to us and we will give them uh, some assessment and uh, some help. All right, and uh, uh, also we have uh, many MOOCs set for them so they can do the uh, flip uh, classroom. Yeah, and also we provide them uh, to, uh, to have uh, more uh, resource to, to study. And then also uh, for the MOOCs, we, we do provide uh, some programs that uh, series of MOOCs such as the pharmacy practice or the clinical, um, uh, clinical uh, medical uh, skills. All right, and by the EduPAC uh, benefits, we uh, because uh, uh, even though Taiwan doesn't exactly uh, have a lockdown moment, however, uh, because we are medical uh, university, uh, our students internship in hospitals. When the pandemic, the hospital is the frontier. So we uh, we 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 kind of uh, not allow our students to do the internship. So we do. Uh, uh, provide a, a virtual internship uh, so they can uh, decrease their hours in the hospital. 
so that we will provide it in VR uh, 360. And uh, you want, if you want to experience that, you probably can go to connect. I have put on our landmark tool in VR 360. So you can experience that. But the way here, we are doing the hot here. Okay. And also, uh, TMU has a uh, partner, uh, partnership with uh, Coursera and FutureLab. We provide uh, free books uh, to, to the students during the uh, uh, pandemic. So uh, we, we allow that, uh, a lot of uh, TMU students can uh, take courses from Coursera and uh, FutureLab. And also in FutureLab, we, we, we provide free courses to everybody in the world. So uh, after we uh, uh, put this initiative in, uh, in the university, in, our, in my university, uh, they have uh, uh, choose a lot of uh, uh, enroll a lot of uh, books and uh, uh, finish them. So the finish rate is quite good, and we figure out that uh, if students get a free certificate, they really uh, want to learn. That's a very interesting uh, uh, find that finding. All right, and for our uh, stats for our ETC results in TMU, because we're doing uh, e learning for a very long time. So uh, most of these uh, teachers, they are, uh, they, they, they are tend to use the synchronized format uh, rather than the synchronized format. So 70% of uh, our courses are delivered by us uh, in a synchronized format. Uh, so uh, after the spring uh, semester, that's the pandemic was very severe. And in the fall, uh, we are putting our staff uh, faculty to do the ETH in uh, in the fifth week and the fifteenth week, that's a required. So uh, this uh, this is the result right now we calculate, and we want them uh, to have uh, 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 at least some experience uh, of the ETH. So if the uh, the new norm is the norm, is is the new normal. So we want them to have some kind of real experience on ETH. Okay, and then. Uh, we, we also do some quality assurance of these courses. So we monitor uh, their activity on, uh, in the LMS so that uh, uh, yeah, so we will keep on this uh, graphic and keep our monitoring. So uh, this is uh, uh, the, the experience of, uh, uh, of uh, TMU. So uh, uh, I think, yeah, we have uh, almost time uh, up. So uh, is there any, uh, uh, because I'm a curiosity, uh, as I as the main, uh, as the information I know uh, that most of the university right now who is doing the drill or who is doing the e-learning or, or doing the pandemic, most of the university are doing it in a uh, synchronized way. So it's like using the meet, uh, using the room, and to do the classroom. So how is our panelists? We have just one minute. Thank you to respond to it. Anyone want to respond it? Because in, 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 in TMU, uh, we do it in a synchronized format mostly. Yeah, because they have already got a lot of videos. So they can put on uh, the LX and lay down students uh, to, uh, to study. So they don't have, uh, they just spend a little bit time to, uh, to do it synchronously. Uh, because most of them are, are, are like big children. Anybody is on the phone? Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah, so glad to uh, to have you here. And uh, I have one uh, one thing to mention. Uh, today we have six university, and the two are from Taipei, which is northern Taiwan, and the two are from the eastern Taiwan, and the one is from the middle Taiwan, and the one is from the southern Taiwan. So we we basically we are cover all the Taiwan. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for uh, participating with us. If you have any question regarding uh, uh, the, the, the topic, you are welcome to uh, discuss in the OEG Connect on the website. And uh, yeah, uh, you, the, the, the recording can stop, All right? I will